Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the radius of this yellow circle, that is the smallest one. And moreover, we got these three circles. The blue circle has radius 4, while the red circle has radius 2. And all these circles are pairwise tangent to each other and this horizontal line is our line of tangency. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here is the very first step. Let's go ahead and remove the shades to make things simple. And here are our circles without shades. And now we are going to label the centers. I am going to call the center of this biggest circle as M, this medium circle N, and this circle, smallest circle P. And now let's go ahead and drop these perpendiculars from this point M to this line of tangency, and likewise from this point P to this line of tangency since these are perpendiculars so this angle is going to be 90 degrees and this angle is going to be 90 degrees and we are going to call these points on this horizontal line this point I'm going to call point B and this point I am going to call point C and this is by the way the radius of this small circle and I am going to call that radius R. And now we are going to connect this point P and this point M. These are the centers and so that we can create a right triangle. Let's draw a perpendicular from this point P to this line MC somewhere here point I'm going to call this point D since this is a perpendicular this is going to be 90 degrees and here is our much nicer looking diagram and this PDM is our right angle triangle now let's focus on this rectangle BCDP and here's the definition of rectangle it has four angles each measuring 90 degrees the opposite sides are same and parallel that means this side is if this side is r this side is going to be r as well and these side are also equal in length now let's focus on this right triangle pdm and we know the radius of this blue circle is 4 units and the radius of this smallest circle is r as we can see then this total length of this pm is going to be 4 plus r all right and on this side once again the radius of this blue circle is 4 so this side is going to be simply 4 minus r all right and now since this triangle is a right triangle therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's the pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in this our given right triangle the longest leg is going to be c this side and this side i'm going to call side a which is we need to find out this side and this side i'm going to call side b and here's our pythagorean theorem let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case a square i'm going to just leave it a square plus b in our case is 4 minus r and then we are going to square it and c in our case is 4 plus r square let's go ahead and simplify a square plus this one 4 minus r square we are going to use this formula over here 
a minus b square let's go ahead and do this one so that's going to give us 16 minus 8r plus r square equal to 4 plus r square we're going to be using a plus b square formula that's going to give us 16 plus 8r plus r square and here we can see that this r square and r square on both sides they cross each other out positive 16 and positive 16 is gone so we ended up with a square minus 8r equal to 8r on the right hand side let's move this negative 8r on the other side so a square equal to 8r plus 8r so a square equal to 16r so let's take the square root on both sides to undo this square so in our case a is going to be simply 4 times square root of r this is our a value therefore this side turns out to be a 4 times square root of r and we know that this is a rectangle this side and this side they are same so that means this side bc is going to be 4 times square root of r and here in next step we are going to repeat the same process with this red and this smallest circle to get another right triangle as you can see in this figure and I'm going to call this point over here I am going to call this point E and this point I am going to call point A and here is our right triangle P E N as you can see over here now let's focus on this rectangle a b p e we can see that this if this side is r then this e a side is going to be r as well and these sides are also same in length and also we know that the radius of this red square is two units and this radius of this smallest circle is r so this total length np is going to be 2 plus r and moreover once again the radius of this red square is 2 units and we know this length is r so this length ne is going to be simply 2 minus r now let's go ahead and focus on this triangle p e n and we know that this triangle is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here once again the pythagorean theorem is a square plus b square equal to c square so in this given triangle this is going to be a longest leg is going to be a c this side is a which is we don't know yet and this side is b and here is our Pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a square we don't know plus b in our case is 2 minus r square equal to c in our case is 2 plus r square and let's go ahead and simplify that thing a square plus 2 minus r square we're going to be using this formula a minus b square so if we use that one we are going to get 4 minus 4 r plus r square equal to this right hand side 2 plus r square we're going to be using this a plus b square formula that's going to be 4 plus 4 r plus r square and as we can see this r square on both sides this is gone and this positive 4 on both sides is gone as well so we got a square minus 4 r equal to 4 on the r on the other side let's move this negative 4 r on the other side a square is going to become 4 r plus 4 r so that means a square equal to 
8r. So now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. So we are going to get simply a equal to square root of 8r. And if we simplify furthermore a equals to the square root of 8 could be simplified as 2 times square root of 2. So I can write 2 times square root of 2 times square root of r. So thus this side a turns out to be a 2 times square root of 2 times square root of r and we know that these both sides are same in length so that means this side ab is going to be 2 times square root of 2 times square root of r. So therefore the length of bc turns out to be 4 times square root of r and the length of AB is 2 times square root of 2 times square root of R as you can see over here. And here is our next step. We are going to repeat the same process this time with the red and blue circle to get another triangle. As you can see we first connected N and M these centers and over here, this point, somewhere here, I'm going to call this point F. And here we got the triangle NFM as you can see in this figure. And this tangent FM and this radius NF, they are perpendicular to each other according to this tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. Now let's focus on this right triangle NFM. We know that this radius of this blue circle is four units and this one for this red one is two. If we add these one up, so that is going to give us six on this side and on this side, this radius is two. And one more thing, this side FM is the same as this side AC. That means AC is simply AB plus BC. That means we can add these two quantities up. So therefore this side is the sum of these two individual lengths. And this could be written as in terms of this one if we factor out square root of r outside. And since this triangle NFM is a right triangle, therefore we are going to use Pythagorean theorem. And here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case I am going to call this side as an A, this side B, and this longest leg is going to be side C. And here is our Pythagorean theorem. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, A is uh, 4 plus 2 times square root of 2 times square root of R, and then this square plus B in our case is 2 square equal to c in our case is 6 square and here if we take care of this one this square and square root they are gone so I can write 4 plus 2 times square root of 2 square times r plus this 2 square become 4 equal to 36 let's move this 4 on the other side so that's going to become 4 plus 2 times square root of 2 square r when we move this one on the other side becomes negative 4 so that's going to give us 32 and now let's focus on this part 4 plus 2 times square root of 2 square here if we use a calculator this turns out to be approximately equal to 466.27 let's go ahead and replace this one by 
466.27 r equal to 32. Now let's divide both sides by 466.27 to isolate r 466.27. So therefore r turns out to be approximately equal to 0 0.6 and that is the radius of our yellow circle that is the smallest circle and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye